Hey guys, what's going on? This is Tech Trainer Josh here and I have an amazing video for you guys today because I have an unboxing of the fastest consumer grade solid state drive on the market. Ah! <laughs> The Intel Solid State Drive 750 series add-in card, 400 gigabytes. No. If you know anything with solid state drives, you know that we've been bottlenecked. We've been slowed down by the old SATA interface. And now here we are with a PCI-based card, which is not totally foreign to see now. However, this is the fastest, the fastest consumer grade hard drive or solid state drive as of this video and you can see on the cover here is because it is NVMe this is a new controller that it is using it's not using RAID it's not using AHCI it is using NVMe so I'll explain a little more about that in a minute or two here but let's just take a look at these speeds one second here okay so sequential speeds you are getting up to 2.1 gigabytes per second on this model I guess it's not technically the fastest there's one a little faster and up to 800 megabytes per second write speed. That is bananas, and that's not even the best, really. This is on Intel's initial launch, their initial tests. I have seen much better results in real life tests. It doesn't get worse, it gets better. So with that, hey, let's unbox this thing. I already opened it up just to check it out and everything, but uh, let's just kinda take it out of the box. We'll call it an unboxing, you know, how's that? So here we are, beautiful, you know, Intel, awesomeness. Sorry, this is awesome. This is just, I'm, I'm nerding out right now, okay? So let's take this box and just, I don't know, uh, I guess I'll show you what else is in there before we get to that. Got a nice little CD with some NVMe drivers. And this will not work on an AMD platform, so like I said, I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Kind of like a two-in-one video. And a little bit of documentation, nothing really too crazy here, just basic instructions that they're going to link to you to go online for. But hey, let's check out this right here. This is awesome, all right? This is your solid state drive itself. I'm going to take it out of its little plastic wrappity, whatever you want to call it. Got a little low profile bracket if you want to attach that, if you have a smaller case. And then here you actually have the drive. It is no longer in a traditional, you know, two and a half inch, you know, rectangle, whatever. I guess it's kind of a rectangle still. Yeah, this is it. This is it. You put it in, it's like an adding card that you throw into your computer. So if we could focus on that. Oh, that looks fantastic right there. That is awesome. So this is the Intel SSD 750 series. Sorry, my webcam is not really focusing. I do not have a DSLR camera. I'm just using a webcam. Still working on improving that, but for now we're just dealing with the webcam and it's a pretty good one. But anyway, yeah, this is it guys. This is the 750 series SSD and I'm super excited for this. Asterisk. Here's the asterisk. Here's the catch that I've been kind of leading towards this whole entire video. This is only supported on not even all Intel platforms, so older Intel people, anyone that has the older Intel processors, you have to do your research on this, but I think it only supports the latest uh, Intel chipsets. Uh, Z97, X99, Z170, don't quote me on that, that is something that you need to do research on definitely before you purchase this, because I did not. And on AMD, it's very sketchy. Here is where the... I'm just like throwing this everywhere. This is where the catch comes in. With AMD processors, AMD chipsets, you have to be very careful because, first of all, you're limited with your speed to around 1.5 gigabytes per second. So that's slower than what you paid for. And second of all, it's not even supported to boot from for almost any AMD chipset. I've seen some very special cases where it is supported, but it's only on like a certain processor, a certain chipset. So bottom line is AMD, you're pretty much screwed. I have an AMD, I thought it was just, oh yeah, you put the add-on card in your computer, but boom, you boot it up, you install Windows and you're done. Wrong, you need to have a compatible motherboard for this. It is so cutting edge because of the new NVMe controller on it, you cannot use it on any old motherboard. Now, instead of using normal AHCI, which is a SATA controller, as you can see on the box here, it uses NVMe, so you can't use it on any old motherboard that you want, which I found out the hard way. But hey, it's an excuse to upgrade to Intel, which is going to be our next little set of videos that I'm going to be working on, and it is going to be related to the 750 series SSD and moving from my AMD FX 9590 to Intel, Skylake, the blue team, which 
Yeah, I've been on the red team, so... Yeah, AMD to Intel, that'll be fun. With that, I have a little mini... It's not even an unboxing, more just, hey, look what I just got in the mail today. I've had the uh, solid state drive for a little bit now, for like a week or two. Got really cheap on Black Friday for like $250. That was awesome. But yeah. I got DDR4 RAM, guys. I got this for 75 bucks. Two sticks of eight. They're nice and blue. They are from PNY. They're the Anarchy series. They're uh, 200, 2400 megahertz speed. And hey, it's gonna be awesome. It's blue. It's blue. So that's cool. It matches my build. I'll show you guys my build at some point. And we are going to be doing some Skylake videos. I don't know exactly my plan yet, but I know I want to try and aim for the Core i5 6600K. Now, if you're somehow watching to all this point in the video and you're not really too much knowledgeable on the tech stuff, you're just here watching because you're awesome, you know, thank you. Bottom line is, this is fast as hell. This is insane, and this is not even the top model, but you have to be careful when you purchase it. You have to make sure it's compatible with your system, your motherboard, contact the company if you need to, if you can't find any of the documentation, and make sure this will work unless you're planning on upgrading to Intel like I am being forced to right now. The bottom line, like I said though, aside from that, hey, it is absolutely balling. It's awesome. Look at this thing. It's a freaking PCI card. And it's 400 gigs. It's not even like a cheap 120 or whatever. This is 400 gigabytes. So that's awesome in itself. With that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy. We're going to have more videos coming to this channel very soon. I need to get my act together and plan on some really cool videos, some tutorials, some reviews and unboxings and everything. So this is kind of like a like a little. I got DDR4 RAM, I got this badass SSD, I'm moving to Skylake, I'm back, and just bleh, craziness. But hey, 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 hey. We got an Intel 750 series SSD. That's dope. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, of course, hit the like button, leave any suggestions for how-tos, tutorials, whatever, like I said, reviews that you would like me to do down in the comment section below. And hit the subscribe button if you are new and you're excited to see me move from my AMD platform to Intel. I'll see you guys then. Peace!